the mystery of Overton Bridge, where more than 600 dogs jumped since the 1950s. More than 600 dogs have jumped off the 15-meter cliff from this Gothic bridge. Most of the animals survived with serious injuries, but about 70 pets died. I was sure he was dead, Lottie McKinnon said quietly. This is how Miss McKinnon begins her story about an incident that happened at about five years ago. A woman was walking her border collie Bonnie along Overton Bridge in Dumbarton. Miss McKinnon says, As she approached the bridge, it was as if something possessed Bonnie. At first he froze, but then a strange energy took possession of him. He ran to the edge and jumped directly from the parapet. Attempts at scientific explanation. Was the dog really captured by dark forces and forced to jump off the bridge? Scholars will say that this sounds like a ridiculous plot from the TV series Twilight Zone, but Mrs. McKinnon's dog is one of hundreds of dogs who have suddenly decided to throw themselves off the Overton Bridge. This is how Miss McKinnon begins her story about an incident that happened about five years ago. A woman was walking her border collie Bonnie along Overton Bridge in Dumbarton. Miss McKinnon says, As we approached the bridge, it was as if Bonnie had something. At first he froze, but then a strange energy possessed him. He ran to the edge and jumped directly over the parapet. Attempts at Scientific Explanation was the dog really captured by dark forces and forced to jump off the bridge? Scholars will say that this sounds like a ridiculous plot from the TV series Twilight Zone. But Mrs. McKinnon's dog is one of hundreds of dogs who have suddenly decided to throw themselves off the Overton Bridge. As Lottie came down, through the trees and bushes, to the dog's body, Bonnie began to stir and even tried to stand up. It's a miracle he survived, McKinnon said. No. Dumbarton resident Marion Murray said, the woman lived alone here for more than 30 years after her husband, John, died in 1908. Her spirit has been lurking here ever since. Saw in 2010 the dog groomer David Sands, who studied this phenomenon exclusively from a professional point of view, ruled out the possibility that the animals killed themselves on purpose. Although he theorized that the dogs were attracted to the scent of mammals below, Sands still did not understand what unknown force had led him from the deep abyss to the summit, he later described the strange sensations he experienced every time he was near the bridge. Many Scots also find this story mysterious, as this phenomenon does not occur on other bridges in Britain, where small animals also rush below. There are no restless spirits lurking on other bridges, Miss McKinnon sadly concludes her story. Despite Overton's bad reputation, it remains a very popular dog-walking area and many animals roam free. Many people do not believe this story until they see everything with their own eyes. It is useless to explain something to them. Everyone is confident that this will not necessarily happen to their dog, says Bob Hill. Whether this bridge has paranormal secrets or not, there is another scary incident in its history. In 1994, schizophrenic Kevin Moy threw his newborn son off Overton Bridge, believing that a strange birthmark on his body was a sign of the devil. He explained the choice of this place by feeling the presence of dark spirits on the bridge, connecting them with the ancient gods of the Druids who performed their mysterious rituals here. Dumbarton resident Marion Murray said, The woman lived alone here for more than 30 years after her husband, John, died in 1908. Her spirit has been lurking here ever since. Saw in 2010 the dog groomer David Sands who studied this phenomenon exclusively from a professional point of view, ruled out the possibility that the animals killed themselves on purpose. Although he theorized that the dogs were attracted to the scent of mammals below, Sands still did not understand what unknown force had led him from the deep abyss to the summit. He later described the strange sensations he experienced every time he was near the bridge. Many Scots also find this story mysterious, as this phenomenon does not occur on other bridges in Britain, where small animals also rush below. There are no restless spirits lurking on other bridges, Miss McKinnon sadly concludes her story. Despite Overton's bad reputation, it remains a very popular dog-walking area and many animals roam free. Many people do not believe this story until they see everything with their own eyes. It is useless to explain something to them. Everyone is confident that this will not necessarily happen to their dog, says Bob Hill. Whether this bridge has paranormal secrets or not, there is another scary incident in its history. In 1994, schizophrenic Kevin Moy threw his newborn son off Overton Bridge,
believing that a strange birthmark on his body was a sign of the devil. He explained the choice of this place by feeling the presence of dark spirits on the bridge, connecting them with the ancient gods of the druids who performed their mysterious rituals here.